I don't. I've asked them um, because I found I found one conflict in their data on all of the deals that I've done with them so far. I found a conflict, and so but um, I haven't, he hasn't shared that or he gets his where he put. He says that they crawl the county website because they're just pulling up property records, so they must have created a bot that goes in and crawls and pulls back the data. I don't know how they do that, but that's what they do. So check this guys out. All right, so let's go searching here. So this is the this is a uh, 1530 Meadowvale Drive. This is a pre foreclosure. I just pulled this list up. If you remember the list I showed you earlier of properties that are vacant that um, are in pre foreclosure. This is one of them. This is Judith Brown. She's the owner. She's female. She's 54 years old and married. I know that because I pulled the record. I can see that. So, um, so she's in foreclosure. and There's about $100,000 in equity. How do we find this gal? Well, Property Radar already has this information for us. Has has a couple of phone numbers. It also has her mailing address. So she has a PO box in Zephyr Cove. So these are ways that we can go ahead and get a hold of her that way. So. Um, we look up on TLO as well. So let's say that the, the property radar, we strike out there, so we go to TLO. And uh, TLO has her middle initial, her middle name here. So we know, her, she's, again, she's 54. We have her actual birth date. And it's Judith Lynn Brown. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to type in Judith Lynn Brown. And one record comes back for true people search. You think this is our gal? Maybe because it's right there. It's right there, right? It's very close. It's just over the hill. What's up, Rusty? What do you think? You think this is our girl? No. No, why not? She has an RV. Ah, Rusty's my man. Not a match. She's 78. In case you don't know, Rusty is like like doctor when it comes down. He's like like doctor status when it comes down to doing like research of property, stuff like that. That's all this guy does. He just he drinks and sleeps research. <laughs> he hates it, but he's really good at it. He has an eye for detail. So, yeah, so she's not the right age. She's 78. So you can crash, you can go ahead and scratch true people search off of this one. So I'm going to jump on Facebook and check this out. So um, obviously, this lady is not her. <laughs> she's way too old. But I'm kind of stuck. I got two Judith Browns. I got a Judith Brown and a Judy Brown that lives in South Lake Tahoe. High school of 05. Exactly right. So check this out. So this is the first one. I'm like, who is it? Like, I'm, I'm, she says she's widowed. And like, I'm looking at this lady here. I'm like, well, what's going on here? This lady, I'm like, I don't have any information on her. I mean, this is just like it. So which one is it? So she's, again, she's widowed. This one, like, it's like, I'm clueless here. So I go back to TLO, and TLO opens it up, and I can see exactly where they've lived, past addresses. So now I go back, and Pleasanton High School, like you guys already caught, West Covina. Bingo. This is my gal. So I'm, this is the person who I'm going to talk to. I'm going to add her as a friend. I'm going to message her. I'm like, hey, you wouldn't happen to own a house over at such and such. I can't tell you how many houses I bought from just Facebook Messenger alone. A lot of houses. In fact, one of them, you guys, some of you know the story, some of you don't. So, uh, truck signs, my truck sign out there says I buy houses. I'm over here in, in Marysville and I'm getting pizza with my wife. And this guy comes out and he's like writing it down. And I go, hey, what's going on? He's like, oh, my daughter has a house and, and all this stuff. So, I go, great, I, that's what I do, I buy houses. So, he takes my number, but I failed to get his number. And I'm like, oh, dang it. So, I literally, for two months, like, drove back to the pizza place, like, parked my car there, like, waiting for this guy to come back and, like, come back, hey, you, know, you haven't called my daughter yet. So I remembered his daughter's name was Andrea, and she lived near a place called Happy Park. And I'm like, okay, Andrea, Happy Park. So literally what I did, I like, go to Happy Park, I pulled up the map, property radar, clicked on every, day, every single house. But first I drove by and I found out the house that looks like the most abandoned, right? So I found one. Fortunately, the first house I found was the one that was it. This is Andrea. I'm like, oh, yeah, I found it. Called every number in the sun, under the sun for her. I even found her ex-husband from like 20 years ago. Don't you go back here again. I hate that lady. Like he went crazy on me. And I'm like, oh, okay. Couldn't find her. She's just like off the grid. I'm like, crap. So I find her on Facebook, of all places. So I see on Facebook, I find her, doesn't respond to me. I find her boyfriend. 
that she says, in a relationship with this dude. This guy's, <laughs> true story. Dude's all tatted up, shaved head, wife beater. His picture, profile picture, is a, uh, his profile is a profile of him slamming a 40. I'm like, this guy's a winner, man. <laughs> He's done a winner. So I said, my message to him was, hey, man, tell your old lady I got a check for her. I want to buy her house. <laughs> Within 20 minutes, I got a phone call from her. And I was like, I didn't know, how to, like, I didn't know what was going to happen. Like, <laughs> she didn't lay it into me, like, old lady, huh? Or she'd be like, hey, what's going on? Totally cool. Hey, what's going on? Got the deal. Close that one. <laughs> Facebook marketing. So sometimes I talk about the market needs, the, the message needs to match the market. I saw what my market was, and so I, mass, I, ma I matched my message with the market. Hey, man, tell your old lady to give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> totally worked. Um, I wouldn't say that across the board, though, to everyone that you, <laughs> you go after. So um, if you want this one, Pierre, I mean, you're already up there, man. You, you, you got her information. Why don't you write down her address? You tend to also... 1530 them. Middlevale. You have to in order the messenger. So... You send, send a message. Message, when you send a message now, someone's on a friend list, it automatically sends a request to yeah. them. And you stop That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you used to hide it, but it doesn't anymore. No, no, no. So, yeah, I'll message them, and it automatically will do the friend request. And then they, when they accept it, it. Yeah. It, yeah, it does a message request. I believe that's what it does. So, you don't do both. You well, they'll get the both. message. I actually get the message before they have to accept it. That's right. Accept your friends yeah, yeah. and see the message. They'll see the message first. Yeah, and they can, they can, they can check or exit, yeah. Because yeah. I get all the time, like, people like, are you doing your training in Alabama? Who are you? Maybe. How much money you got? No. <laughs> Isn't this the one where the house is burned down on the property? Or if there's no house on the lot? Isn't that the one you're saying? You know what? I, I honestly don't know. I've never seen this property. Fifteen thirty. Well, see, I know I know Meadowvale because I was going after a property on Meadowvale a couple years back that just sold for five ninety five, and the guy was in the contract. I was in contract for four nineteen. I couldn't find a buyer. Can't believe it. Well, let's look it up, man. Fourteen thirty. Meadowvale Drive. Oh, it's fifteen thirty. Yeah, it's a nice looking house too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For our listeners at home, let's show this. Or not. So, yeah, it's a pretty decent house. And it's vacant, so. It's amazing. It's a two one. It's crazy. It's a two bedroom, one bath, a thousand square feet. Not for sale. I love that. Thank you, Ridgefin. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Am I just crowding you over here? All right. I'm very territorial like that. All right, so so now you found the property. What do you do next? You found the owner. I should say you found the owner. But you found a property. You found a, uh, never mind. Probably the same thing. So conversation, negotiation. So what do you say to these people when you're actually going to call them up? Again, not every lead is equal. So pre foreclosures, probates, and run down pieces of crap. You're going to have different conversations with them. So let's go into each one. One thing, though, is know the law before you begin. Um, if you're in California, read California Civil Code, Civil Code 1695 and 2945. This is for California, of course. Um, basically, the rule of thumb is always 
So say always. Always represent yourself as the buyer when contacting and dealing with sellers and you'll be just fine. What these civil codes stand, they say, is that if you're representing somebody else, you're considered what's called a foreclosure a consultant if you're going after foreclosure properties. If you're saying, I'm, I'm out you know, buying properties for my partner or whatever, then you run the risk of being this foreclosure consultant. And if you don't have a bond and you're not licensed as a foreclosure consultant, it's a felony. So you're always buying for yourself. You can later assign that contract over, but you're buying for yourself. In Nevada, I don't know if they have those laws or not. But again, you'll be rule of thumb is you're buying for yourself. So, all right, pre foreclosures. I always open up with this this line. I'm interested in buying your house at such and such address. What are your plans with it, or are you just going to let the bank take it from you? I always want to throw that little knife twist. Um, I get their plans and I go from there. And it's, very, it's a very friendly conversation. It's like, hey, I'm interested in buying your house on 123 Main Street. What are your plans with it? Do you, are you looking to sell it or are you just going to let the bank take it from you? I want to hear the response. And sometimes, believe it or not, people will say, oh, we're done with that property. The bank can have it. I love hearing that. What if I can you know, give you some money for it so you don't have to be you know, empty-handed? Empty, uh, empty you know? Be out of pocket all that, all that time and money you've put into it. So I always try to go from there. If they say, oh, we're going to rehab it, we're going to move back in or whatever, or we're, in a, we're doing a loan modification, you need to know where they're, where they're going from that. Want to add to that? Nope. <laughs> so they're going telling to, me to listen. Oh. <laughs> so they're telling you that they're going to do a mod on the notification. Um, I would think that you'd want to say, okay, we didn't really know. Be a little bit more detailed. Follow up. That. Yeah. Because then I can come back and say, you know, I you know, be more interested in help or I could be so here's something to know on a loan modification if they're more than 37 if they're less than 37 days to the auction and they just haven't even started a loan modification there's no way a loan modification is going to get approved okay. across the board universally at all of the banks 37 days prior to the first auction date is when a loan mod needs to be initiated if you have not initiated a loan mod prior to that first auction date at least 37 days no way not going to get approved Banks play that game. Where is the air conditioner right now? Maybe I'll just open the door. Is that, is that uh, because they're not legally required to even do it? Is that why? That's what the guidelines have been. Uh, and what they say, here's what you guys need to know as well, is banks don't own these properties, guys. These banks are owned by, by <coughs> Wall Street hedge funds. And so it's their guidelines that say we got to go back to the investor who owns it and we don't have enough time to get a response back from the investor. So that's the universal guideline that they put out there as far as 37 days. That's where that comes from. Okay.